this morning I had one of those rare moments. Rare because on the quick life we live today, at times these events come unnoticed before our eyes. Moments to observe the nature and know that it teaches us. I was observing the Temple of Solomon's garden this morning and saw the birds coming to a tree. I don't know if it's a cherry tree. I don't know much about trees. But this tree had small red fruits like cherries and the birds came upon it happily packed at the fruits and took them away and they will come back and do it all over. And other birds will come. It was an incredible scene that brought a passage from the Lord Jesus to mind. He said on Matthew 6, 25, Do not worry about your life. Anxiety is one of the biggest problems facing human beings these days. Brazil is at the top of the charts of countries who sell medication to treat anxiety. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? And then he says, Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? The Lord Jesus called our attention on how the heavenly Father cares for the birds and the flowers in the field. He cares of things that no one takes care of because who takes care of the birds flying out there, even in the cities? Where I was here in Brás, if no one takes care of birds in the nature, imagine the midst of the city of São Paulo in Brás, but they were there being taken care of. The Temple of Solomon's garden is like an oasis for them. They were so happy. Who cares for them? Who is the Father, God Himself? And you see this in nature, actually. When you see an animal suffering, having some problem in nature, usually it's because of human action. Human is the one who spoils all the ecosystem because of their greed. But the animals all works around them in a way that one thing adds the other. And like this, God organized life, this planet and this universe. Then, the Lord Jesus calls our attention to this fact and asks, Are you not of more value than they? In other words, the human being is the masterpiece of all of God's creation. It was the only thing He created in His image and likeness. We are God's masterpiece, God's main creation. When He looks at this universe, this planet, and all the beauty that we can only contemplate through the lenses of a telescope or a microscope, when he sees all the beauty he has created, his eyes go to us. It's like a father or a mother who their children is playing in the park in the midst of other children and their eyes only see 
their children. They don't look at other children, other adults, whoever it may be. The eyes of the father and mother are only on their children. So is God with us. His eyes are on us. He looks at us. And then you ask, if God looks at me like that, why am I suffering, going through this fight? I have all these needs. Maybe you haven't looked to him. You don't look to him. You don't follow his ways. The Bible says that the sea obeys its limits. God placed a limit for the waters of the sea. It goes to the sand by the shore and it comes back. It obeys its limits. The sea, the wind, the rain, the birds obey their limits, obey their order. The stars obey their order. The sun obeys its course. The earth obeys its rotation, the sun as well. All that God has created obeys his voice. If in one hand, the human being, it's his masterpiece. In the other hand, is the only one who rebels against what God has determined. And because of this rebellion comes chaos disorder. Because of disobedience comes disorder. So people complain, saying God does not like me, he does not love me, once in reality they are only reflecting what they think about God, what they think and do towards God. They are the ones who do not like God, who do not look to God, they do nothing for God. So, God only returns in the same measure that has been given to him. Understand, God does not impose himself on people. He will never impose himself upon you. He will never force you to love him, to want him, to follow his paths. He gave you something that he does not interfere with. He gave you your own will. He does not interfere with it. When the person expresses their will to put God on the sidelines, he will be on the sidelines. He will respect what the person determines. But the truth is the following, is that he wants to care. He wants to add all that you need in your life. Because the Lord Jesus concludes this thought by saying the famous words, but seek first the kingdom of God. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. So if you seek first God, if you start putting his will, what he wants for you first, he who feeds the birds and organizes all in this world, he will also take care of you. What you need is to submit to him, is to come under this heavenly order. He gave you freedom even to rebel. But rebellion has its consequences. Now, if you give up on rebellion and embrace obedience, you will enter the kingdom of God where he is king and his righteousness prevails. And in this righteousness, nothing lack for those who are his. Nothing lack. He supplies, he answers, and he protects. So, next time you are in a place where there are trees, when you pass by a park, at times even on the street, and the birds come to them, Pay attention and ask yourself, who takes care of them? Who houses them when it's raining? Who feeds them? Who protects them? And then you will remember these words. And just as they fly 
and play around and sing here and there with no worries with these things because they are taken care by the Father like this you will live with your main concern being to please the Father, to seek the kingdom of God, to obey His word. If you enter His purpose that He has for you, the rest, dear friend, you have no worry about anything He will provide for you. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.